To access Schoology, the best way is to either go to Schoology.com or go to your school's website and click on the Schoology link. Your Schoology username and password should have been sent to the email you have on file with the school. If you did not receive this email or if you need assistance logging in, please contact your child's school's technology department. Then use your email address and the password provided to you, or you can click Forgot Your Password and hit Login. At this point, you may see that you are viewing the page as one of your children. If you click over on the side, you can view the page as yourself or as any of your children. If you are missing a child from this list, please contact your school's technology department. You may see up at the top courses, groups, and resources if you are signed in under your own name. It may also have things such as messages from a teacher or notifications. Under Recent Activity, any messages from the school, such as daily announcements or messages that need to be sent out to all students, would be under this list. This is a very common way that schools use to communicate with your children. If you go back to your name and click on one of your students, you will also see any of their recently submitted assignments. Some teachers have assignments that are submitted on Schoology and some teachers just have materials on Schoology. We will be taking a look at both. For materials, when you go to a page, you will see that there may be different types of folders under materials. When you click on the arrow next to the folder, some of the actual materials may start to appear. There may also be more folders within those folders. Sometimes there's PowerPoints that the students will cover in class, and sometimes there may be links to more information that the students can take a look at. This becomes very helpful when students miss school as they're able to still see what is covered during class. Teachers may also provide assignments on Schoology. Some teachers may have the assignment itself on Schoology. What would normally be a handout would be available both in handout form and on Schoology which helps students who sometimes lose paper copies of assignments. Other teachers may not only have the assignment electronically on Schoology, but will allow students or require students to submit that assignment electronically into Schoology, in which case students go to submit and then can submit exactly what they wrote in Notability, for example, into Schoology itself. Whether teachers have actual submission of assignments on Schoology or materials or don't use Schoology at all is up to the teacher and what is best for their teaching style and their students' learning style. There are differences between what parents can see and what students can see. For example, if you want to see what assignments are missing, you would need to go to Infinite Campus to check what assignments are marked as missing. Students, on the other hand, can see what assignments are overdue on their main page. Also, on the update page, while you would be able to see which teachers post information for updates. If there are any replies from students, it will show as anonymous to protect the student's identity. 
In addition to using Schoology for courses, extracurricular activities and athletics often use Schoology to communicate with their students as well. This is where you would find announcements, maybe calendars and information about information for the activities and athletics that some of your students are involved in. If you need any assistance with Schoology, please contact your school's technology department.